Canada thistle is a perennial terrestrial weed. Native to Europe and Asia, it was introduced to North America in the 1600s, likely as a contaminant in crop seed or ship's ballast. It's currently found throughout most of the continent. Canada thistle rapidly colonizes disturbed, moist sites, including prairies, meadows, irrigation canals, lawns, and agricultural fields. Canada thistle is ranked highly as one of the world's worst weeds. It dramatically reduces crop yields and forage production, and displaces native plant species in natural areas. This weed has demonstrated allelopathic tendencies by releasing compounds into the soil that inhibit the growth of other plant species. Although seeds germinate whenever moisture is sufficient, the majority of rosettes are formed in spring. They quickly develop taproots with extensive, creeping lateral roots that produce new shoots. Stems bolt in late spring and typically grow one to four feet tall. Leaves are irregularly lobed and have very prickly and ruffled margins. They're green on both sides with a slightly downy lower surface. Rosette leaves are less than five inches long. Stem leaves are alternate and decrease in size further up the stem. Stems are slender, grooved, and branched near their tips. They may have fine hairs, but are not spiny. Flowering occurs from June through September, when clusters of small, compact flower heads a half inch in diameter are formed on branch tips. What appears to be one flower is actually a flower head containing 20 to 90 individual florets that vary in color from white to deep lavender. Male and female flowers occur on different plants, which is a unique trait among many thistles. The bracts at the base of the flower head are not spiny. Each floret produces one small brown seed topped by a tuft of fine hairs that is readily carried by wind and water. A single shoot may produce 1,500 seeds annually. Seeds usually germinate within one year, but some remain viable for 20. Plants die back in the winter and re-sprout each spring from their extensive root systems. Over 80 native thistle species and more than 20 exotic thistles occur in North America, and all of them resemble Canada thistle to some extent. The first rule of thumb for differentiating thistles is to observe the stems. Native thistles never have spines along their entire stems. Because Canada thistle also lacks spines along its stems, next you should observe the roots. Native thistles do not have creeping lateral roots like Canada thistle does. Canada thistle differs from other exotic thistles because it does not have spiny stems and its bracts are not wedge-shaped or spiny. 